saxophonist will lead us into worship. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rabba 
to him and worship your maker exalt his holy name magnify the king of kings the one who, who is and who is to call the everlasting father the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob the covenant keeping God the unchangeable changer that ruler in the affairs of men oh the unchangeable changer that rules in the changing world let him hear your voice of gratitude exalt the name of the Lord this morning just appreciate him. Just appreciate him. He desired to be praised. He desired to be honored. He desired to be magnified. Give God all the praises. Thank you. 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 In Jesus' wonderful name, we have worship. Lift up your two hands and fire this three prayer arrow very quickly. And you will cry to the most high God. And say, my father, my father, my father. You can do better. Let your voice be louder than your neighbor. Anything that we call set back to my destiny. Oh God of heaven and earth. Take them far away from me. Can you go ahead and touch your magic God? Anything that will cause set back, set back, set back, set back. Set back, set back, set back, set back, set back to your destiny, to your progress, to your ministry, to your business, to your job. Ask God to take them far away. Masuka ya la baba, pokoto gazianda lekuta, brae gazundo lolo gazinta le mama, zamayanda labo koto gazinte le mama, ah mare baba kasanta le In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Jackie Bobo Agbaye, Le Mondaju Wipe, Jesu Nikon Laba, Lori Aye Bobo, Baba Fabala. Thank you, Jesus. Ready to do this? Baba Fabala. Yes, Lord. Baba Fabala. Ipa la branda basota ya Baba Baba Ayo ayo alone me Baba Baba Jaki bobo Jaki bobo araye le moda tuibe Jesus ni kono ba no Put your two hands on your tummy and you take this next prayer point. That song says, Father, show forth your power. That everyone and the whole world may know that you are the power over heaven and earth. Brethren, this prayer you are about to pray, anything can happen. You might even live here and begin to see things. All I know is that you will receive a miracle. Yeah. You will call loud and cry and say, Father, anything inside of me, contrary to my body system, that will send me to untimely death, by your power, let them be uprooted now. Whatever it may be. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you talk to the Almighty God? Anything unknown to you, <laughs> growing and germinating in your system, growing and germinating in your body. Aha! Let that be divine evacuation. Maka tu gaga gaga. I don't know what doctor have diagnosed concerning you. Any growth, any growth, any growth. <laughs> anything not of God in your body <laughs> let them be uprooted now 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 for any tree not planted by my father 
shall be rooted out. Masuka yababa. Baka kuta kaka 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 kaka. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, makuta glanda. Any satanic implantation in your system, inconvenience in your body. Yes. Aha. Babo sapanda lala. Re kete gasunta blande kaka. Baya potololo basian tali. Bro gasian dalabo shatali. In Jesus mighty name they are rooted out. In Jesus mighty name they are evacuated. Lift up your two hands. And cry loud and clear. And say, My father, my father, my father. You alone know the journey you are taking me to. All that I need for a glorious destination, for a wonderful destination, Lord, deposit them in me now. Deposit them, deposit them. There is no vacuum in life. When God approved unwanted plants, He deposits His own. Ready? Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. God is taking you somewhere. All you need to get to where God is taking you to. Let God deposit it in your life. Physically, spiritually. Oh, humanly, let God deposit them. Any man, any woman that you need in your life to get to where God is taking you to. Let the Lord Himself deposit them in your life. Ah, Papa la broko to Gazanda. Hey, Kali, Mama, 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 Mama. Is somebody praying at all? God is taking you somewhere. Anything you need to get to where God is taking you to. Ah, let God deposit it spiritually, physically, financially, materially, humanly. Let God deposit them. Masuka le Baba. Thank you, my chief Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Mighty and everlasting Father, we want to say thank you. Lord, it's in your name I pray for everyone under the influence of my voice. That by the power that made God to be God, I decree anything growing in your system, anything planted in your body, even unknown to you right now, let them be rooted out in the much. I said, let them be rooted out now. Be it fibroid. Whatever it is. Let there be a complete evacuation in the name of Jesus. By excretion. By sweating. By vomiting, let them be rooted out. Anything that will cause set back to your destiny, anything that will reduce your greatness to zero, I decree here this morning. Let God take far away from you in the name of Jesus. And whatever you need for the great name God has ordained for your life. Whatever you need to get to the glory of destination God is taking you to. Either spiritual, physical, financial, material, humanly. Let the almighty God release them to you today in the name of Jesus. Deposit them in your life in the name of Jesus. I have a father. Almighty Father, He is King of Kings and Lords. I am a Father. Daddy, we humble ourselves before you this morning. Surpass our expectation. Exceed our petitions. Pass no one by today. Let your world locate us expressly. Let all glory be yours, O oh God. And at the end, O oh God, Father, let our testimony be heard. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, 
God the Holy Spirit. I thought someone would say better. Amen. Amen. Jam your hands together and make a joyfulness unto the Lord. And let's be seated in Jesus' name. Don't forget tomorrow morning is good morning, Holy Spirit, and we are talking about the comforter from the Father, part two. Come with the expectation, come with the anointing oil, and the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. The card for a day out with God or that the Jew is available just for 25,000 naira, and the meeting comes out 24th of June. So, we need to work towards it. It's a life-changing experience, and the theme for this month is double blessing. Amen? And I know somebody will get double portion blessings. Double portion blessing will be yours in Jesus' name. The topic this morning is when the father is at work. John chapter 9 verse 1 to 11. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth, and his disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parent, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither both, neither had this man sin, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day. The night coming when no man can walk. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Silo, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. Somebody will see. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. For once I used to be blind, but now I can see. Readers' emphasis. Therefore said they unto him, How were thy eyes open? He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Praise the Lord. When the father is at work, a lot of things happen that I may not have time to go through again. For some of this we have looked at in first service and in the second service respectively. Praise the Lord. The question is, when the father is at work, how does he work? If my father wants to work upon your situation, if you want to work over your marriage, if you want to work concerning your business, your career, if you want to work concerning your academics, if you want to work concerning your desires, if you want to work concerning your prayers, how does he work? Because if you don't know how he works, you may be taking him from granted. One way that the father does his work is by his spoken words. When God wants to work concerning a life, 
he speaks into that situation and in that name that's above every other name the word of our father will locate someone here today and if you are that one expecting let your amen show it now because if you read Psalm 146 verse 6 Psalm 146 verse 6 the Bible says God made heaven and earth the sea and all that therein is which keep our truth forever praise the Lord praise the Lord in another translation of that verse of the scripture he said God made heaven and earth he created the sea and everything else God always keep his word God always do what? there he said keep it truth how? forever at creation it was by spoken word that God walk the walk he walked for six days because the Bible recorded that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 God began to create the heaven and earth and by the time you get to verse 31 the Bible says and God saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the what? the sixth day when you get to Genesis chapter 2 you read from verses 1 and 2 you discover that on the seventh day the Bible says he rested from his works but all the creation that took place from the beginning of let there be light and there was light they were all product of his spoken word praise the Lord and the same thing was repeated when he was to be at war concerning the man that was born blind apart from the fact that he spat on the ground and made a clay of the spittle he spoke a word into the life of the blind man go and wash at the pool of Silo and he did obey and he received his sight stand on your feet and lift up your two hands to heaven and say my father, my father, my father do your work in my life and speak into my situation speak into my condition speak into my destiny speak into my marriage speak into my finances speak into my business Speak into my career. Can you go ahead and add a lot to speak now? Add a lot to speak a word, a word, a word. When the father wants to walk, he speak his word. Marie Baba Kasanta. And the Bible says his word cannot return back to him void. In Jesus mighty name we are praying if somebody is saying amen say loud and clear that word that you need for your life to be turned around the Lord will speak to you even right now as the word of God is going for the word of God will locate your situation the word of God will locate your condition if you are saying amen say loud and clear Seated. Number two, how does the father walks? He walks by the outstretch of his arm. In other words, he walks with his hand. According to Isaiah chapter 45, verse 12. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 12. The Bible says, I have made the earth and created man upon it. I even my hands, <laughs> even my what? Have stretched out the heavens and all their hosts have I commanded. 
And we saw in the case of this blind man that the father walked a walk in his life by using his hand. He spat on the ground and made a clay of his pitu. And he anointed his eye with the clay and asked him, go and wash. I stand here this morning in that name that is above every other name. God himself will lay his hand upon your life. By his hand, he will walk a walk concerning you. Can you lift up your two hands to heaven and say, my father, my father, my father. By your hand, do wonders in my life. By your hand, walk a walk in me. By your hand, turn my situations around. Can you go ahead and ask God uh, as you are praying? The Lord is stretching forth His hand; He is touching you. The Lord is stretching forth His hand, laying His hand on you. The Lord is stretching forth His hand to do wonders. Uh, the Lord is stretching forth His hand to heal, to deliver, to set free. Go ahead, talk to Him. Masuka la brade kasanta libaba. In Jesus, mighty name, He will walk a walk in your life. Number three, how does the father does his works? He works by his wisdom. He works by his what? Listen to me. Even the foolishness of God is more than the wisdom of man. And so, when God wants to do his works, he applies his own wisdom. Not your own wisdom. And that's why the Bible says his ways are not our ways. Listen to me. If you understand how God works, you will not limit God. For instance, many a time when God wants to do his work and he applies his wisdom. Amen. The wisdom at times is foolishness to us human beings. And I'll give you several instances. God wants to bless you. And his wisdom says, go and scatter what you have. Does that one make sense? Eh? But the Bible says, there is he that scattered it. Yeah, he does what? That is God's wisdom. <laughs> it is God's wisdom. For 10 percent not to be enough for you. Sorry, for 100 percent of the resources you have, not to be enough for you. And God will not say, you remove 10 percent of the of the of the hundred, retain 90, and the 90 will be more than sufficient. What the hundred cannot do. That is God's wisdom. That is God's what? That's why the Bible says. In the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 19. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 19. He said the Lord by his wisdom. The Lord by what? By wisdom had founded the earth. By understanding had he established the heavens. God's wisdom is key. It was his wisdom not to have <laughs> This God is too much. You can imagine. It was his wisdom not to give the young man eyes. He just decided. After all, he's so sovereign. Who can question him? Who can query him? He created the young man and deliberately said, I will not give him eyes. <laughs> Until such a time that in his wisdom he want to be glorified you want to be what that one they were asking question is it the parent that seen or he himself he said no that is the wisdom of God that God deliberately did not give him eyes so that what 
His name can be glorified. God's wisdom. It happened to me several years ago. Some things I was praying for were not forthcoming. I don't know whether it happens to you. People will come to me. I will pray for them. They will give testimony. But in my own case, the one that had to do with me, gong, 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 gong. Let her pray. Nothing is happening. But you know what? Every now and then, I see why God has not answered me. Because if I, if I answer earlier, the time I will ask him, maybe by now will have been destroyed. God's wisdom. Take for instance, a child of eight asking his father for a car. Will the father give? Eh? Eh? You know, many of us mistake God's wisdom to abandonment. When at times you are asking God for some things, and God in his wisdom decide not to answer you as at that time, you will say, oh, God has forgotten me. Oh, I am abandoned by God. No, sir. No, man. God does his works by his wisdom. And when we are talking about God's wisdom, it's beyond you. It's beyond what? It's beyond you. Stand on your feet. Lift up your two hands. God, by his wisdom, will surprise you. Some of us are still sitting down. Are you so tired? Brethren, when God wants to showcase himself, he will not act when you are expecting him to act because he wants full glory. That's why in the book of John chapter 11, when they sent for Jesus that Lazarus was sick, he didn't go. After four days that everybody thought he was stinking by now, that when he came, that is his wisdom. It was his wisdom for her to rejoice that Jesus was crucified and died and was buried. Amen? Something happened just last week for those of you that listen to news. Because I know some of you, if I ask you now, you didn't know. Amen? You know this, uh, our opposite religion. There is a place they used to go and pray. Just last week, they said they were praying. And the place they were praying was where their founder was buried. They met somebody. And suddenly, there was cockroach invasion. You didn't, you didn't see it on the news. No, you did not see it. You didn't read it. <laughs> Praise God. They were running with cockroaches all over their bodies. You know somebody? Why were listen to that news? Do you know what the Holy Spirit tell you? He said that is confirmation that Jesus is alive. Jesus' tomb is, open, is empty. But where they buried the man? Cockroaches, yes. Just three or four days ago, began to pursue everybody. Everybody began to run. Cockroach, every, I, I've never seen that volume of cockroach before. Except the one that was described in the Bible when there was plague. <laughs> Let's say shout hallelujah. <laughs> Who knows what I'm talking about? Brethren, God's wisdom, God's wisdom, when it's at work, oh, that's why the Bible says, He makes all things beautiful. When? That is God's wisdom. When is that work? Lift up your two hands. Somebody will receive a miracle. Yeah. By the wisdom of God. Yeah. Say, my father, my father, my father. Yeah. To you belong infinite wisdom. Yeah. Apply your wisdom to my situation. Yeah. Apply your wisdom to my condition. Yeah. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Kapale mato gashi antali mama kendele gazunta bla e kakuta bashi antali ya 
Lord, be at work concerning me with your wisdom. Masuka Payamale. Pore kete gazunta balima shantalia. In Jesus. Manchine, we are praying. Be seated, my time is up. But I just give you two more and we close the service. When he's at work, he apply his power. His what? Eh? Huh? I can't hear you loud and clear. His power. John chapter 10 verse 12. Sorry, Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 12. He said he had made the earth. By what? By his power. He said he had established the world by his wisdom and stretched out the heaven by his discretion. I love that one. He had made the earth by his power. Can I ask you, sir? Can I ask you, man? By whose power will a miracle be performed in your life? Oh, say it loud and clear. If you read Jeremiah 32, verse 17, he said, Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power. May the great power of God be at work over your life. And if you read Jeremiah 51, verse 15, everything Jeremiah this hour. Praise God. <laughs> Jeremiah 51, verse 15. He said he had made the earth by his, he had established the world by his wisdom and had stretched out the heaven by his understanding. By his power, he's at work. When his power is at work in your life, anything can Get ready. Because in the next one or two seconds, his power will do the impossible in your life. How does he work? Lastly, he work using earthly vessels. He work using what? That what the Bible says in that book of John chapter John I'm coming <laughs> John chapter I give it to you in a minute. John I think I'm there. I want us to read it together. John fourteen twelve. John 14, 12. What did he say? Verily, verily, I do what? He that does what? Uh huh. The works that I do shall he do also. And greater work than this shall he do because I go to my Father. In other words, he uses earthly vessels to do his work. There is somebody here listening to me. In that name that is above every other name, God will use me for you in the name of Jesus. That's why when David realized that God can use him to do his work, he said in Psalm 118 verse 17, Psalm 118 verse 17, he said, I shall not die but live and declare what? Brethren, many a time many of you pray, Lord I will not know of timely death sir, ma, what is the essence of your living when you are asking God to preserve you I told those of you that we are the vigil I say, be kingdom minded He said, I want to declare the works of God. That is why I am asking him that I should leave. Another reason David asked that he should leave was that if I die, no one will praise you. He said, so I want to leave to praise the Lord. Alayeloma Oku kole, 
David is sorry, no rore. Oku kone yo, alai loma yo. He says, I will not die. Only the living can praise the Lord. He uses earthly vessels. He used Elijah for the Shunammite woman. Sorry, he used Elijah for the widow of Zarephath. He used Elisha for the Shunammite woman. He used Elisha for the city of Jericho. He used Moses to deliver his people out of Egypt. He uses earthly vessel. And that's why I conclude by telling somebody here this morning that not only will the Father work his works in your life, he will use you to work his works. And if you are that fellow, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Because that's where we want to draw the anchor. I want you to wave your hands to heaven and say, Father, thank you for how you do your work. For how you do your work, I say thank you. Thank you. Oh, only him, only him can use anything, anything to do his works. Parima te kashantali mama, kakaba raba baba ba kashantali, keli branda kashantali. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Before you take the two prayer point, and we are out of this place, I want to give opportunity to some of us who, for one reason or the other, desire to see the works of God being done in our life. But we have no relationship with him. We are still living our life the way we like. Not the way he like. And for that reason, you are delaying his works in your life. I don't know who you are, but if you can be sincere, if you will refuse to pretend and say, Lord, I want you to walk your walk in my life. Just have mercy on me. I know I'm not even worthy, but have mercy. You are the only one to lift up your right hand and I pray with you. You want to be sincere with him. You don't want to pretend. You don't want to be hypocritical. Don't forget, he knows you in and out. Can you lift up the hand if you are that fellow? And I pray for mercy with you in one minute. Is there anyone like that? God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. If you are raising your hand, raise it above your head. Let the angels see you. Let God says you. Mommy, God bless you. I can see your hand. God bless you. Any other person? Any other person? As you are raising your hand, Ma, can you please come to the altar? My sister in black, please come. Please come. Any other person? Please come, ma. Please come. Any other person? Any other person? This is game of sincerity. If you are not sincere with God, how can you be sincere with man? You know you are not living right with him. And yet he's calling you. But you are still standing where you are. You can only deceive man, you can't deceive him. So if you want to come, come now before I start praying for our beloved sister standing at the altar of God. Any person like that? Shall we pray? Join me, stretch forth your hand to us, our sister, and pray for her for God's mercy, even as I'll be praying. Precious Lord, I want to thank you for the life of your daughter. Lord, indeed you are a merciful God. Lord, your daughter has refused to pretend before you because she knows you know everything about her. Daddy, today give her a new beginning. Lord, wash her sins away. Lord, remove her name from the book of death and destruction. That they rewrite her name in the book of life. At, her, at your returning, Lord, let her reign with you. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I congratulate you, my dear sister. Just remain where you are. After this prayer, you will follow my sister carrying that banner at the back, and then they will share one or two things with you. Lift up your two hands, brethren. You are taking only two prayer points.
And if it were you, you would pray with all your heart. We told us that God does his work by his power. If only his power would be at work, just in a minute, then you will see the miracles. You will see the wonders. You will see what God is able to do. So lift up your two hands and say, Father. Say, Father. By your power, you wrought wonders. By your power, you do your works right now over my life, over my situation, over my condition, over my predicament. Let your power be at war. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God that the power of God will be at war concerning you? Go ahead, talk to him. Cry to him with all your heart. Say, Father, let your power be at work. Let your power be at work. Let your power be at work over my life, over my life, over every one of us. Right now, 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 right now. Masika Taliana. Oh, Ricardo Liana. You stretch forth heaven and earth by thy great power. Let your great power be at work over our destiny, over our home, over our family. Let your great power be at work over our health, over our finances. Oh, let your great work, let your great power be at work over our ministry and wrought wonders and wrought miracles and do the impossible. Barapote Gaziata Libaba, Rekete Gazuta Bayekaku, Glaeka Kagamos Katali. In Jesus mighty name you will see the work of God. Finally lift up your two hands. He uses earthly vessels. In other words, he does not only work in you by his power. He can also release the power for you to continue the work. That's why Jesus said, I will do the work of the one that has sent me. And another Bible passage say, as he sent me, so send I you. So we and Jesus have the same commission. He was sent by the Father. He continued the work of his Father. As one time I say, I want the word, I want the works of the one that sent me. He said, for night coming when no one can walk. The same way he said, the same way he was saying, say, send I you. Lift up your two hands and say, Father. For the rest of my life, let me declare your works in the land of the living. Let me declare your works. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? David said that I, may de- I shall not die, I will live, that I might declare the works of the Lord. Cry to the Almighty God that all the days of your life you will declare the works of the Lord. You will declare the works of the law. You will declare the works of the law. You will declare the works of the law. Ma rabota gaziata alimama. Daddy, let me declare your works. Make me a vessel for your works. For your works. Here on now. Masuka yaba. Potololo gazita. And so shall it be in Jesus name. If my father can hear a louder amen from you. His power shall be at work in your life. His power will work wonders in your life. His power will produce miracles in your life. His power will work upon your health. His power will work upon your finances. His power will work upon your destiny. His power will work upon your marriage. His power will work upon your academics. His power will work upon your ministry. His power will work upon every area of your life. And may you live to declare his works in the land of the living. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful amen like thunder. One to go. Two. And my staff, please follow that. My sister at the back there. God bless you. Put those hands together for Jesus.